And now we're going to talk about the models of the cables we have in the system. And I'd like to start with the power cords. Now I have 320 amp dedicated lines and something special about these cables is they're braided and they, the signature version increases the dynamics by doubling the conductivity of the power phase conductor from the original 6 millimeter 2 to the signature's 12 millimeter 2. In the original DFPC original, there are three conductors, one for phase, one for neutral, and one for ground. So you can, you can see how this braided design works. Okay. Now, I found when the power cords were entered into the system that the noise floor just seemed to resolve. There just seemed to be a, a, just another level of smoothness in the sound. And uh, it, it just was very complementary to the rest of the uh, interconnects that Lewis has. It's a cumulative impact uh, as I went through each of the different cables. Okay, now let's look at the interconnects and speaker cables because they have some very interesting design elements in them. And I would encourage anybody who wants to go further into the details to go onto the Less Lost website, uh, which has a lot of details and analysis and commentary about stereo equipment and the philosophy behind the company that explains how they were designed. Now, these cables uh, are made from um, a 196 monocrystal pure copper strands and they're surrounded by nanoparticles. These, these nanoparticles are less than half the thickness of a strand of human hair. And surrounding the nanoparticles is a finely woven high-tech cloth that acts as a shielding and is increasingly effective about the audio frequency range. This, this shield opens up the sound and eliminates a closed-in sound that many other cables exhibit. So one of the, the big differences I heard with these cables was, was a change in the spatiality. I know people talk about soundstage and imaging qualities, and uh, Magnapan speakers are very appealing to me as a musician because, because they're, they're boxless, and this large ambient type of sound that, that they portray is, is more the way I'm used to experiencing live music. So one thing I noticed was even after I've had my speakers in their position for about two years and have listened to hundreds and hundreds of hours of recordings, uh, is that with these cables all of a sudden the sound changed. It changed in a very positive way that it became deeper uh, and more detailed. I was hearing things in the recordings I never heard before. And what I mean is I was hearing inner voices, layers of sound. Uh, the textures were very realistic. So when I heard a violin playing, it wasn't just the sound of a violin. I could actually hear the bowings as the arm would be moving from up and down. When I would listen to orchestral recordings, I could hear the section. I could actually hear the individual voices of the 12 violins playing instead of just a mass of a violin section. It actually, the texture of the violins and the different timbre or tonal quality of the violas was able to be delineated. Now, I've in the past, besides these large Maggi speakers, I've had a variety of speakers, many of which were just amazing at imaging and, and, and details. But the difference when you listen to a studio monitor is, is, is it portrays like looking at something under a, mic, a magnifying glass. And after you listen to these analytical type of speakers for a while, you, I found my ear would tend to fatigue. So the sound that grabbed my attention was, oh, this is great, I love hearing this, I love hearing that. After a while, I found it wasn't realistic. It, it was too, too, uh, too detailed, actually. And what these less lost cables do is something very special. They, they add a balance in the full dynamic range, the spectral sound of, of everything from top to bottom. My speakers, people come over and they say, did I add a subwoofer to the system? I said, no, you, you're just nearly hearing the bass that these speakers can finally portray. Uh, people say, did I uh, change my preamp or my amp or, or do I have a new CD player? And I said, no, it's, it's just I have these, these wonderful cables that I'm very excited about and uh, 
they're very reasonably priced, actually, for what they deliver. Because in this day and age, there's, there's just a tremendous range of products out there. Everything from budget to the most expensive, exotic types of cables. And Lewis has decided to price his cables in a way that makes them affordable for any really dedicated audiophile who's interested in getting something special into their, their stereo.